Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Whatever happened to that sheep money? To it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, the thing. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We got a hitchhiker. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Looks so much different during the day. Slowly. Set this place what ablaze. You Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. I don't understand what the uh, angle is. I finally is. sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're in 
inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Yeah, what about you? No, oh, You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> what? Right? Broke poor Mammy's heart. <sighs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Huh? We're here. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <clears throat> Just ruining business for the saloon? What's going on exactly? We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says, give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. What's the play? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. I don't have one bit. Drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at a gift horse. When I see a gift horse, I'm going to work my eyes. That's some strong stuff. Don't catch your soul. Just keep them coming. Don't drink up. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. It's the lady of opportunity. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Yeah, Siled. Hey, send a couple this way, will you? Ben, keep it coming. These souls need some joy. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Up you come. More than enough for everyone. What? What hit the spot? Keep them coming, Ben. Just keep them coming. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, 
We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. oh. My real gun. Give me this gun. Literally right in front of me. Hello. Oh shit. Think you can steal from us? You're dead man. Can't do with that. Hey, hey, this way. Boy, you can think we were you. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Where's my gun? Oh my I'm God. getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there. Oh, I can't Take shoot this time, can I? Got more coming out. Ah! That's all. It's all fair game now. Don't shoot them then. You think we weren't fighting? I just saw them coming out of the alley. Oh shit, that hit the liquor. We run the liquor around here. Stay the hell out of our business. Turn around, hold up. Yeah. Hey, you. You about to come to an end. Boom. That's weird. Is that TNT? Yep. Oh. I think that was an instant bystander. Think you can steal from us? You're dead, man. Hi there, stick. You're the one shooting at us. Torch in. Don't bring him back to base. Don't think so. Yeah. so this over a few bottles of booze. I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. Yeah. Setting on fire. Never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. 
Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Options. So many options. I gotta sleep. Shave then sleep. I need a haircut too, don't I? Yeah, I'm getting kind of scruffy looking. Sleep until the morning. Nine hours. You lazy. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I want my coat back. <laughs> I feel like I need a coat. I feel so naked without it. You're gonna buy me a new coat, though. Ooh. High velocity. Okay. Too much finagling. Bill, Gray's, or Hosea, John. Got that debt to collect over there. Maybe I'll go help Bill. Since I'm here already, don't want to go too far. Got a nice moule going on. Business in the front, party in the back here. Got also got floating beer bottles, but we won't discuss that. Okay. Health is good. Alright, Billy. Hey, Arthur. Okay, okay, I'm coming, dude. What is it? We 
we got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay. Hey, we did get Let's a jacket. Out. Actually, we had a stash of jackets, but I wanted to buy a nice one. Oh well. Get out. Cinematic camera. Whoa. What I don't like is I have to hold. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Either should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some... Oh, my God. That don't go well. You're a new kind of dumb. Wow. What the fuck? Hey, get out of the way. Don't you back out on me. Damn cinematic view. So, Hard. you were saying... Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. 
I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, drive Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. It's a really big horse. I like when you go to cinematic view. You hold X, but to change the camera, it's the right trigger. It's like really awkward for your hand. I really wish they would have made the change angle to the left. Left joystick. Would have made so much more sense not to do like this claw thing when I enter cinematic view. Oh, Valentine! No longer red. Still haven't collected that sheep money. Keep it down now. We're here. How are you? Damn auction yard. I give you four wood for my sheep. Who wants to give my sheep wood? Come on. Good morning. Hello. It's gonna rain. Think about it, I might never be dry again. <laughs> Antagonize. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Oh, burpee. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Come back. Get ready. Oh. I wanted to pat him. Okay. Go to work. Of course. <laughs> we look All right. like. Keep it cool and follow me, fellers. We look like we're up to no <laughs> good with this big leather trench coat. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Looks so filthy. I'm not sure this is quite the play. He said 
Okay, we're going. Uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. Would you care to? I'm with child, and it's. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right, hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No, Erna! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Whoops. Yeah, I got the windows. What you think we're here for? Come on! Open the goddamn vault! Open it! Too slow. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Get a move on. You got damn slow! Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! I feel like hitting him, boy. Okay. Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Oh my god. Fuck. Press too hard. <laughs> I pressed too hard. If you press too hard, then you actually shoot him instead of just aiming. Lame.